Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be looking at the angle of elevation versus the angle of depression. So previously we've looked at some triangles, so we said if we have this right angle triangle here, that's not going to be a great triangle, but we say we have this right angle triangle here, here we've got this right angle, we can have this angle here, theta, with our opposite side, our hypotenuse, and our adjacent side. So what we're looking at with our angle of elevation versus depression is we're saying, uh, we're just looking at how these triangles come to play in different situations. So say you are standing on top of a cliff. So you are this red person, you're pretty well drawn, some hair, a smile, and you're throwing a tennis ball I guess, that's what that yellow dot can be. Actually I'll get rid of that yellow dot. But say, you can look out over the ocean. So let's put the ocean in here. You're standing on top of a cliff and you can look out over the ocean. So let's draw in some, you know, blue. It's kind of a green. Alright, so you can look out over the ocean. So when you look out, you can look out, you know, you can look directly straight. Or you can look up. So you might look up. Or you can look down. Let's do down in a different color. We'll do down and say purple. So you, look down toward, you can look down towards the ground, you can look straight, or you can look up. So we call this line here, this first blue line, we call this the horizontal. And the angle of elevation or depression is basically just the angle which you form to, with the horizontal. So if we have an angle of elevation, it's kind of exactly like it sounds. That's the angle which you form when you elevate your gaze upwards. So if we look at it here, we'll draw it as a triangle. So you're going to have you know, some line across here, some line here, and a line here. So this is going to form an angle of elevation. So we would call this theta of elevation. So that there is going to be your angle of elevation. Or you can look down, so you just keep looking straight down. Likewise, you're going to form a triangle here, so you form a triangle here, and you're going to have another angle here. So this here, we call it the angle of depression. So looking up, angle of elevation, looking down, angle of depression. The reason this becomes important is later on you might be asked to work out say an angle of elevation or an angle of depression and depending on what you've been asked is going to depend, it's, go it's going to dictate you know, what angle we're actually looking at. But then there's another situation, so say we you know, get rid of all this and we put say like a, a lighthouse or something on top of this cliff, so you know, I'll, get, I'll get rid of you Instead of you, we've got like this lighthouse here. It's a fantastic looking lighthouse. Put a lot of light shines out like that. If you are in the lighthouse and you look down, you're going to form an angle of depression exactly the same. There, you can look up. Angle of elevation. So top, always elevation. Bottom always depression. Just important because sometimes we'll get questions you know, relating to our angle of elevation or angle of depression, so you just need to be wary of which one we're actually looking at. So it's a pretty basic concept. Uh, it gets used quite frequently in questions, and I'll put some questions out so you guys can have a go.